Hello and welcome to the 2019 Land Yachts lineup release. Hey everyone, Steve and Vaughn here. I'm still in Colorado. My flight got canceled because of a big storm. Alex, looks like you're gonna have to do this on your own. Good luck, buddy. Wish I could be there. This year's lineup is broken into five categories. Cruisers, ATV series, longboards, downhill free ride, and freestyle dance. The first category we're getting into is arguably our most popular, cruiser boards. This is where boards like the dinghy, the tugboat, and the rectangle live. They're shorter, portable boards that are easy to take anywhere, great for traveling. All the boards are made from maple and they all have kicktails. They come stock with bear trucks and soft hogs cruiser wheels. Our product director, Nick, has been working with Aaron, our engineer, for years to develop the perfect complete. All the components are designed to ensure the best possible performance and functionality without any tweaking. Our team riders have tested these boards all over the world, so we know that they'll stand up to any challenge you throw at them. So, like every year, we've got a lot of new graphics, and they're all looking pretty sweet. I'm loving the creature graphic. I like the aggressive look on the guy. He looks like he likes to have a good time. While the skeleton, you see, he's drinking something. Looks like, I bet it's Gatorade. It's probably Gatorade, because he seems like he's pretty thirsty. You know, holding onto this board here, it reminds me of when we visited the Skull Rock in Joshua Tree. You may not ride the dinghy every day, but it's definitely one of the most important parts in your quiver. Okay. This next category is for the skater that likes to skate everything. These boards are designed to skate the streets on your daily commute, but you can also skate spots if you want. We've got three slightly different shapes this year with three pretty cool graphics, and it comes with 155 millimeter polar bear trucks and 60 millimeter 78A chubby hogs wheels, which makes the ride extra smooth, but still easy to slide when you want to. The newest shape out of the three is the ATV crane designed by Harlan Turgeson. Let's hear what Harlan has to say about his new design. This is the ATV crane. It's a little concoction I came up with of all my favorite skateboards I've ridden over the years. Just slapped a bunch of different things together, tried some things. What worked, worked. What didn't was taken out. Early last summer, I came up with the shape with Nick Breton. After that, we got our first proto worked out, and it's just been pretty great since then. I hear a lot of people say there's like inspiration from uh, specific boards that they've ridden in the past, which I think is really cool because it gets them to be more interested in things like this. Length is a 33. I like a little bit longer. We've got a two different wheelbase options, so you can have a big nose or your short nose. Get a little bit more stability out of your ride, you know? Like 33 is just the best all around length in my opinion because it's more skateboard, it's more comfortable, you have more room for your feet. In the front it's 8.9 and in the back it's 8.75 right at the axles. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm super excited the fact that I'm making something for not just myself to enjoy but for lots of people to enjoy. Also included in the ATV series is one of my favorites, a rally cat. Well, there is a lot of things I like about this board. The rocker is probably the first one that comes to mind. It keeps your feet angled in such a way that your legs stay lined up and straight. I love how the wheel flares remind you where your feet are on the board so you don't have to look down all the time. You can just look at the road. Basically, anything you want to do, the Rally Cat makes it easy and fun. Also featured in the ATV series this year, the Sidewalker, Steven Vera's pro model. Not only does this thing shred like no other, but it's one of the coolest boards you can lay your eyes on. It's just, it's just, I just like it. It's got hollow tech, 
and you can see through it. It's made by Jody Wilcock and Kimberly, and you can ollie the crap out of that thing, slide the crap out of that thing, and it's really light. What do you want me to say, man? There is the man. <laughs> We've also got the Gordito Crow. Gordito. For the person that wants a big honking skateboard. It's 10 inches wide, and that's a fat board, which is good for anyone with big feet. The 180 millimeter polar bears make this thing feel like you're floating on a magic carpet. Chubby hogs, they're pretty cool. They slide pretty nice. They're big enough and soft enough to roll over cracks and debris, but not too big to flip trick, ollie, whatever you want to do. So, pretty good. Pretty good, uh, pretty good. <laughs> I think I'm done on the ATV series. Unlock all the spots you've always wanted to skate with the ATV series. This next category is made up of our longer pintails and our drop mount cruiser boards. These boards are great for your casual rider who likes cruising, but also for someone who wants a lively ride that's still capable of getting rad. This year, we are exhilarated to bring you the newly designed Ripper and Super Chief. Let's head over to our R&D specialist and resident bad boy to give us the scoop on these new setups. Hey guys, Nick here. I'm excited to talk to you about the Super Chief and the Ripper. Two boards we've worked on for a while. We took our favorite from our cruisers, our favorite from our pintails, and we made two perfect ripping boards. For the Super Chief, we took a surfboard and a dinghy and we put them together. It's narrow, but it's long. It's got 105 mil standard skate trucks. It carves hard, it's low, it's rockered. It's perfect. For the Ripper, we put on wider trucks. We square it off the tail. You can slash a few grinds. You got a bit more stability, but you still have the same rocker and the same flex that's in the Super Chief. You're gonna love either or for whatever you're doing around town. Both setups come with 63 mil fatty hogs. Right amount of grip, right amount of slip, perfect roll. So most pintails, most cruisers of this ship use reverse kingpin trucks. We stuck with a standard, traditional kingpin setup on skate trucks. It's a little more conventional. They still carve hard. They still break out nice and easy, but they have more of a classic feel to them. We've never done this before. Reflective graphics, hollow foil. Change it in the light and it goes like It looks so rad. Another brand new board that we're very excited about for 2019 is the Dropcat. There's two sizes, the 33 and the 38. Huge rocker, huge. This is the 33, and it is very, very nimble. The rocker, right here, it raises the angle of your trucks so you can turn a lot more with this board. The 33 is a nice and compact setup. Great for going to school or anywhere you're going that you need to carry a board with you. The 38 has a bigger standing platform. It's a lot more stable and you can slide this one really nicely. The drop through mounting combined with the rocker means that you're real low to the ground, lots of stability and it's a little bit flexier because of the length. You can still carve this thing like no other. You can flex it to the ground so it kind of has that trampoline board aspect to it but it's stiff enough that you can still reach some pretty good speeds with no real issues. I think this might be my Mary Hill board for this year. They also come with brand new wheels called the Plow Kings. These wheels are nice and big enough to plow through anything in your way. Nice wide contact patch for lots of grip, but they kick out nice and smooth when you need them to. There's a lot of good things about this board. The graphics nice, the rocker's nice, the concave's nice, the drop through mounting is nice. All around, just a great board. Can't wait to see what you guys think about it. Speaking of rocker, all the boards in the longboard lineup have it to provide a more comfortable cradled feeling. Also in the longboard lineup is one of our favorites, the Battle Axe. Returning a little bit shorter than last year. Down from 40 inches to 38 with some pinstripe grip. Really awesome board, definitely one of my favorites. I particularly like the graphic on this one, the color, everything about it. We've got these sick new graphics on the drop hammer designed by our in-house artist, Alexi. There's three hidden raccoon heads in here. Can you find them? We 
We also have our classics, the Pinner and the Totem, returning with some fresh new graphics. Dude, that Pinner was one of the first boards I ever rode in my fucking life. Here we have our engineer, Aaron Brown. Hey. Yeah. This guy is the boss. He's the man. He nice. makes imaginary ideas turn into reality. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna tell you about some of the components on the longboards. So uh, yeah, we have a pretty wide array of setups that we create at Land Yachts from uh, like popsicle stick decks to bombing hill. Wait, we have to stop. Decks. I was holding the paper. It's okay, man. Okay. We try to fine tune all the different components to, to meet the needs of the, the riders for that specific use. We just want to make sure that everything is machined uh, super accurately. Uh, there's yeah. no slop between the trucks and the board or the hardware and the holes. So like axle sizing, uh, bearing sizing, everything needs to be super tight. And uh, the tighter the tolerances, the, the better the ride and feel for everybody on the road. So we set up our goals and figure out what we want to do. We build samples and one-offs, just low volumes to kind of get riders supplied and to take them out on the hill and uh, give us feedback. Once we start producing larger volumes, we need to make sure that we're staying consistent with the goals that we've set and uh, you know, make sure that, that our customers are, are as happy as our team riders are. That's the goal. How is it working with Alex on product development? It's the time. <laughs> what? Working with Alex is a great time. He's got ideas that I never would have thought were good ideas that turned out to be great ideas. It's a, it's a mix between exciting and, and frustrating, for sure. You know, like Alex, <laughs> Alex has some pretty high expectations, so, um, you know, that keeps us working hard. It's not such a bad thing. And actually, everything Alex comes up with is, like, thoroughly thought out, where I think he spends hours at a time just, like, sitting on the couch, like, thinking about every millimeter of rocker. Alex writes super long emails and uh, sometimes it's hard to decipher exactly what he's going for. I hate writing emails, but when I do, <laughs> they're long. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely thought out everything he's doing on his board. You gotta iron out all the problems and we, we don't stop until that happens. Don't stop, can't stop. Right? Right, Aaron? Right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's this over here? Mm. Whoa! Did you hear that? Sounds like this video is about to go downhill. So, first up, we've got the Switch 35 and the Switch 40 with these amazing new graphics. And one of the reasons these boards have been in the lineup for so long is because they are so easy to learn how to slide on. Also, with this dropped platform, it brings you much lower to the ground, which makes it easier to push. Next up, we've got the free riding classic, the Switchblade. I really like the new graphics this year, and this board has always been one of our most popular setups. Low to the ground, making it extremely stable and easy to slide. Some of the best free riding we've ever seen has been done on this board. Gambler's gonna be back again this year, of course. Dex has been down in Cali during the time that we're filming this, uh, getting some real good footage. He's been pushing our gear to the limits, for sure. That's what I've heard, so. Look forward to seeing that. Oh, oh, what? One of the most stable boards you can ever ride down a hill. The Evo will be returning for this year. Two sizes, two colors. Same classic shape that everybody loves. Definitely need to get your hands on one of those bad boys because the Evo forces you to take better lines. So what kind of stuff's gonna be green screen behind me? Can we have like, a cattle, like, or a stampede going. That'd be appropriate. Hi, I'm Billy Bones, and this is the 2019 Land Yachts Osteon, the second revision of this wonderful directional top mount downhill race board. Don't gamble on some other boards. Get this one. <laughs> Sorry, Dex. <laughs> like somebody very wise once said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And we kept it the same. Directional, really nice, concave. It's got just a little micro drop in the front. Lock your foot in nicely, and you can see it's even flush mount. Keeps your board nice and level. All kinds of beautiful wheelbase options, and 
a beautiful graphic brought to you by Mark Majori. Uh, I think people might have been expecting something to change, but honestly, like after riding this shape for well over a year, it's like, it's perfect as is. Like, I love this thing. Gotten good feedback from other people. I'm just gonna keep rocking it. Like, it doesn't just make you wanna ride off in the sunset. The Cheese Grater is back for 2019, and I've also been working on an updated version that should be available later in the spring. I always enjoy it when we add new wheels to the lineup. Easy hogs are fun. Really nice wear pattern on these wheels, I notice. Because they're center set, they don't really cone as easily, and you can rotate them with a lot more freedom. You know, I've been doing a lot of slides, and they're still pretty much the same size. No coning yet, no coning at all. Pretty predictable. You know, once you get that slide out and locked in, they really just kind of sit there and do what you want them to do. It felt great to leave some big pain lines today. Dark pain lines, you can still see them though, if you go fast. <laughs> that, that was fun. Really predictable slide. These easy hogs slide real easy. Our final category is our newest category to the lineup. That's the freestyle dance category. These boards are designed for dancing and flat ground tricks. We've taken everything we know about board construction to create high-end functional freestyle boards. All the boards are symmetrical and there are multiple flex options available. Was that right? Yeah. This year we added a smaller mini Stratus in both Maple and Holotech options. We decided to take a step away from our usual graphic options and put a chill cat on the board for something completely different. I've not seen this before. Wait, that's a lie. No, what? What? Because we had a tugboat that looked like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? This cool cat right here, I just named him Fitzgerald. I've always wanted to name a cat Fitzgerald. I'm definitely a big fan of the matte colors. I like the top too. It says Land Yacht's nice and big. One thing you should probably know is that the grip tape in the middle of the board is slightly less coarse than the grip tape on the tails to make things like spins and pirouettes a lot easier. If you're into dancing and freestyle, then this category has something for you. There you have it, the 2019 Land Yachts lineup. We're pretty excited about it, and we hope you are too. We made sure there's something in there for everybody. But if there's anything else you want to know, head to landyachts.com or ask us below in the comments. I'm Alex Hannigan, and thanks for joining us. See you later. Remember, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs>